Undoubtedly, if you're watching this video, you already own a full touchscreen phone that slips easily into your pocket. And for those of you born before the turn of the millennium, maybe you were once the envy of all your friends, thanks to owning a flip phone that could hang up on calls with just a flick of the wrist. But what's the story behind flip phones? And how did they go from being so iconic to nearly extinct before making a comeback in the last two years? Here's how it happened. The clamshell design was the product of futuristic science fiction long before becoming a reality, appearing in early comic books and on screen in Star Trek The Original Series. The first real-world use of folding technology was developed by Grid Systems Corporation in their Compass laptop from 1982, before Motorola released their patented flip-designed cell phone, the MicroTAC, in 1989, followed by the StarTAC a few years later. The first flip phone to use the lower folding half to store the keyboard. Of course, other brands soon joined the craze, with Nokia offering the first smartphone that included a QWERTY keyboard and Ericsson unveiling the first phone to come with Bluetooth. Flip phones quickly came fitted with cameras and full colour screens, only for Motorola to completely change the game in 2004, thanks to the Razer, whose slim design and focus on style helped identify the handset as more of a fashion accessory than a phone. The Razer sold over 50 million units in its first two years, figures that didn't go unnoticed, and consequently received competition from the likes of LG and Samsung to see who could dominate the future of the flip phone industry. That was until one summer's day in 2007 when Steve Jobs presented Apple's iPhone. Without the hindrance of a physical keyboard, the iPhone was able to offer a significantly larger screen than nearly every phone on the market, effectively killing off the folding phone trend and paving the way for the rise of full touchscreen handsets. Flip phones then spent the next 10 years in a quiet existence, mostly on budget models in the $20 to $50 range, often aimed at senior citizens who find the prospect of a touchscreen somewhat overwhelming, but in 2019, both Samsung and Motorola announced they would be releasing a new top-end flip phone. The Galaxy Fold was released at an eye-watering price of $2,000 and opened horizontally like a book, in contrast to typical flip phones. Unsurprisingly, the Fold received a mixed reception and a few scoffs at the extortionate price given the untried nature of the technology. Meanwhile, Motorola's offering was a reinvention of the once popular Razer, flipping open in a similar way to its predecessor and also priced at over $1,000. Needless to say, the phone has proven equally as unpopular as Samsung's device, although the updated 5G model did make significant improvements. For those of you wondering, the hinges of the phone include a gentle curving of the screen, like folding a piece of paper without leaving a crease, providing both the Samsung and Motorola devices with one fully uninterrupted display. The advantage of the folding phone design is that the screen remains protected from scratches while in your pocket or bag, but the smaller external screen still allows you to check your messages and notifications. Some of these devices, especially the Razer, have flown off the shelves in China, but there's still considerable doubt about whether the design can have a sustained impact on the smartphone industry worldwide. Let us know if you've tried one of the latest flip phones, and whether you think the craze is here to stay. And that's how it happened. Thanks for watching.